Peace, everybody out there on planet Earth. My name is DJ d and this is Mookie, my dog. Bang. Today, me and Mookie are gonna show you guys how we set up our equipment to shoot routines at the crib. Uh, super basic equipment going on here. We got a light stand with a built-in boom arm. Let's see if I get ex Okay, yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen, but we're doing this live. I'll do it like that. Built-in boom arm. Gives you that overhead angle. And for my main camera, I use the GoPro Hero 4. I shoot this at 2.7K, 24 FPS, and I go ahead and attach that to this ball head mount, which makes it good for adjusting and tweaking my angle. Cool, so let's dive into it. Mookie, you ready to go? You ready? Let's go. So, uh, like I said earlier, I have this light stand right here with a boom arm. This is pretty cool because it doesn't only go vertical, it also goes horizontal. Once you pull this up and pull this down like so. This horizontal arm will allow us to get that angle right over the turntables, kind of like a bird's eye view of uh, your performance. All right, so up next, let's talk about the camera that I'm using. Boom, this is the GoPro Hero 4. Yes, you heard it right, the Hero 4. It shoots 720, 1080, 2.7K and 4K. Take note that when you're shooting in 4K mode, you only have the option to do 15 FPS. I need 24 FPS, so I'm gonna rock on 2.7K. Super rugged too, I've dropped this a couple times. Along with that, in order to make that connectivity to the light stand with the boom arm, we have this ball head mount. So this ball head mount will allow you to move your GoPro freely. Actually, you know, I, I should hook that up real quick. Boom. There you go. So now I have the GoPro attached to the ball mount. So this ball mount is pretty important because this will allow you to move the GoPro around freely if you need to do some adjusting right over your DJ setup. Just tighten it via this guy right here. And even on the GoPro bracket, you have this little fella that you can move as well. So you got a couple options for adjusting your angle right there. GoPro Hero 4 and the ball mount. All right, up next, we're gonna get our Optimus Prime on. We're gonna hook up this GoPro Hero 4 with the ball head and attach it to the end of this boom arm right here. And there you have it. So like I said earlier, the ball head has the ability to move freely. Once you turn this guy, you could actually move it around like so. For this application, it's gonna be pointing down since it's gonna be right above the DJ setup and just tighten it up like that. And remember on the other side of this GoPro bracket, you have this little guy right here that you could adjust up and down as well. So yeah, let's get to uh, setting up that angle. All right, so as you can see, like the eye on the TV, I went ahead and put the light stand to the left of the DJ setup. Let's go ahead and look down. Boom, right there. Having a dog right there is very crucial. The dog will make sure nobody trips over the stand. Let's go back up. And as you can see right there, the GoPro is directly right over the turntables. So I have it recorded right now, so you're gonna go ahead and see me adjust it accordingly. Let's go. So since I'm shooting this pretty wide or in fisheye, the height of the stand doesn't need to be high at all. If I wanted to, I could actually go back to the GoPro settings and change my field of view options to either linear, medium, or back to wide. All right, cool. I'm actually hella happy with this setup. Um, you can see a little bit of TV right there, but that's expected when you're shooting super wide on a GoPro, so it's totally all good. You probably see some of the laptop and uh, that Raisin Hands record that I planted for you to check out. But if I bring that light stand any higher, the camera is gonna be directly in my face and you're gonna see more of the TV, which I really wanna, wanna avoid. Um, right now the GoPro is about at chest level, which I'm totally cool with. So all the minor imperfections, I could probably just fix and post if I need to rotate the image just a little bit, warp it a little just to make it look a little cleaner. Um, yeah, I'll just do that in post. All right, wait, hold up. You're probably wondering, yo D, how are you gonna record the clean audio? I don't see an interface. I don't see a field recorder. How are you gonna do it? 
this. I'm asking you for the answer. It's a question. The answer is I'm using Serato DJ Pro. Wow. But what you gotta do is go to the top, hit the record button right there. And this will present the record tab. I mean, record panel, sorry about that. And you actually have the option to just use channel one, channel two, record a video or a mix. For this case, we obviously want both turntables, both sides, so we're gonna do the mix. And just to make sure, let's go to settings, let's go to custom, and let's make sure everything is set accordingly. USB 5.6 is set to mix to record out. Boom, we are good to go. So now, here's our record button. If I give you some signal, you'll see it jump on the V meters right there. So let's press record right there. And if it talks shit, we real destroy. If it if it talks shit, we real destroy. If if it talks shit, if 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 it talks shit, if 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 it talks shit, we real destroy. All right. Get that tail. Boom. Test. Save. It'll put in its own crate. Boom. Let's load it up and play it. If it talks shit, we real destroy. If it if it talks shit, we real destroy. If if it talks shit, if 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 it talks shit, if 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 it talks shit, we real destroy. Alright, cool. We did it. Good job. You did it. I did it. You didn't do anything, but high five anyway. Cool. So just a quick little recap. Light stand with the boom arm going horizontal directly over the turntables to get that overhead bird's eye view angle. Made all the fine adjustments via the ball head attached to the GoPro. And don't you ever forget, record the audio, the most important thing. Because what good is a video without any clean audio? It's no good at all. It's pretty much useless, right? So once again, my name is Destruct. This is Mookie and we are signing out this piece. Peace. Oh wait, chill. I should probably record a little something since I have the camera set up. Let's get into it. Destruct. 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 Oh.